Hello everyone, welcome to Autopilot channel. Today, this video, we will dive into 4EDS, the software diagnostic for Mazda and for vehicle. Don't forget, like and subscribe this video. Now, let's get started. Start looking at the software on the interface. IDS and you guys, please pay attention too. FDRS is also Ford's diagnostic software, but using for the car models from 27 until now. That is, the new generation of cars. And this is an online software. As for IDS, we might be able to use it offline, but during the installation process it might be, go online so we can get the program. And of course, with these software we all have to have them now. License key means, you have to register. You can only use it if you have copyright. Then, tools like that. We are ready to provide for you. Hey there, if you have any needs, please feel free to contact us. We will double click on the ITF logo. Okay, this is the part where we can choose the hardware. We will connect the hardware, which is the Ford BCM2. Then the software will display a number of warnings. In the process of our work, pay attention to the source issue, or there are some risky issues. It's always like that. Then please pay attention to the right side of the screen, will be displayed. First of all, there are three tabs one of which is the connection part. It's the user's information. The second tab is the part. Connect to the car, and the third thing is the toolbox. Are the parts that are related to, we will be able to read the data or those contents when we can connect with the car. And now, let's start the car connection process. So, you guys notice that the car image and the main interface are also displayed. Here it is. Let's go in first. Start a new station. Start a new station. This will display a number of connection methods. Then, we usually choose to be on Azure. And these are the old ways of connecting. Then we will choose to be on Azure. There it is. Of course, the key has to be turned on. And this is. They warned us that this is a trap have been found. In my previous job, or in a previous operation. So, do you want to get it back? These pieces of information are not. The software has recognized that we just checked. Or we have checked it before. Then this car. Then the software will give out the method. The plan is to retrieve the old information, otherwise we will start a new job. Then we will say that, do you want to send? Either get this back or I'm saying no. So now, we will create a new job from scratch. And then the software recognized us as, this vehicle is either a Ranger or a Mazda B series, or a chiller vehicle. The type of engine is Durita, turbo diesel, and the capacity is 2.0 liters. Some automatic and they asked again, reconfirming the issue, is the fuel, is this diesel fuel? Then this car is really a Ranger. Okay, BA scores too. The software has recognized it for us. Show the vehicle frame number and some symbols. The final number of kilometers on the odometer. The odometer software can also read it. Okay, let's do this. Then, let's consider that we've successfully connected with the car and display the full information of the VIN number, as well as the kilometers on the odometer. So, what are we going to do now? We will go if. Want to check for reading errors, delete reading errors, or what? The installation functions are them. I will go to the tune box section. Then, the tune box has been displayed at this moment. Give us. Add a lot of information below this. From cell test. Cell test is the function of reading and clearing errors. Data logger is a function that reads data. It's reading the information, data from the control boxes, especially the information about the sensor or the executive structure. The third function is the module program. This is the setup or configuration function. Hey guys, let's configure it or configure the boxes I'm replacing or install new boxes. Replace the new boxes. We can also skip the network check part. Then there are some of these VCI parts. We also don't need to use it. So these are some of the additional functions. And we need other hardware. For example, these are... The hardware can be used to integrate into the seven clans. Give me the watch. After measuring the electricity, it's the turn of the wave oscillator. Then you don't need to worry about it. You mainly notice me for my three main functions. Read and fix the error. Read and fix the error. Read the data. Besides installing, please pay attention to it. The extra part. For example, Add it below, in the body section. I want to install the key. So these are the additional functions. We can have advanced functions in the body. Use the key setting function or we can intervene in the airbag part. System A identifies the person sitting in the passenger seat. It's the weight of the thing. Determine who is sitting on the passenger side 
or some additional functions, like setting up the lock configuration. And you guys also notice that Chotoy are just words. This blue symbol, this blue symbol when we click on it, then there will always be below the line. Here, in the bottom row, we will see BMS. BMS is Battery Monitoring System. Well, it's all in the software. We will encounter a lot of abbreviations of the control modules. Then, I want to know exactly which module is that abbreviation from. Click and see the explanation in the line below. IPMA is an image processing module. This is the camera itself. So, in the body, there will be a certain number of functions. Deep intervention function. We can go in. Yes, I've installed the key and it's related to the airbag. It's related to the maintenance functions of the service. Add and enhance the function. Yeah, or reset the pressure. Reset of, that's a battery or a camera. Next is Chelsea's side. The brake system is related to the engine compartment. We can use the functions that are, is it true, right? Or a few independent functions here. IVD, IVD, Iridium 2, dynamic. There are several features related to vehicle stability in the control of the suspension system. A bit related related to the brake control system, but it's about the stability of the car. As for the suspension system, there are several car models equipped with it. Pneumatic suspension system, then we can reinstall or adjust it. The clip shows the height of the car. This is during the process of changing diapers or replace the height sensor. We have to reconfigure it to keep the car balanced, or it may be related to the tire pressure system. Learn about tire pressure sensors or install them. Tire pressure. In the electrical system, it relates to a number of things. Audio system. It will regain its value or whatever, or configure for new modules, suitable for all vehicles, regardless of their functions. It's like the whole system. We also have cruise control here. In the end, it's about the power system. It will involve the engine. Engine. Especially for the engine, there will be some parts that need to be checked. Fuel consumption. Or check the fuel system. Checking the fuel system, the software gives us, can check both low and high pressure. Or, as for the power balance, this is the part that, it's quite good to use. It's a part we can check. What's the problem with this machine? Which machine is broken? Given that power, we can do it. Have you made any judgments about, is it about fuel ignition or something else? The number of compressions, or also about the pressure of the combustion. See if we can achieve it or not. So this is the part that we will often use. To check the car models that have, the status of the machine is not working properly. Well, there are still some functions. If you add it, then that part. This advanced function. For the engine part, we can see the functions of resetting. Clarify the values again, but in the process of the engine box. Working and studying at the same time. There are some values that may need to be adjusted, especially in the process of our maintenance. It's like, please come back to the filter. Or instead of pumping, we also need to reset these values or after a long period of work it's when we clean clean the exhaust pipes or the drainage system clean EGL then we should also reset these values to ensure Cho is the engine driving these things back the initial working state after that it's us if the engine can adjust itself it will be better and the last part is the part about transmission then it relates to the gearbox part then in the process the gearbox is running so, there are always some self-study states to adjust the car. It can operate at full capacity while still being quiet and smooth. Then the gearbox also has some adjustment values. So when we change the oil or we have a can, what's wrong with the gearbox? Then we will also use these functions to teach again the gearbox and ensuring that the gearbox is running properly. All the best working conditions. So I've given a brief introduction about everything. Toolbox in the app section. The repair wrench app. You've already seen this as software. I've used a lot of these features, from the basic features until the advanced features. Well, I'm going to be specific for us now. We will access, enter each section. Firstly, we will read the error, for example. How to fix the error? So, we're going to enter the sales test section. After that, we will use some other features one by one, choose the sale test and click on it. Then the software will, a new tab has appeared. For DTC, you guys can read it here each individual control box each individual control box or we will choose any module at all if we can't access it we'll just review it here is cmdtf dtc we'll read all the errors on the car as well well i also often use the review function so that we can have those things look and judge overall it's easier then this software will show us all the errors of the having it on the vehicle means that the software will scan everything 
The control box in the car is always there. So, guys, pay attention to this column on the left. Pass is those parts that, here, I see it's ABS again. If I click on this, it's the braking system, right? Anti-lock brake system. ACM audio control module. IPC is a car stereo 3. GCM parking brake support system. Airbag system. So, what about the pass parts? These are the parts that this box is currently not having any problems with. And the errors that start to appear below this, like the code. If this is not a 1330, then it's in the box. BCM is body control module. Body control module. Then, when I click on each error, then, I noticed it's on the right side. This box will be displayed. This body control module box and a brief description about error code. This is a description of the core problem, which is 1330, isn't it? DAC inverter module is a power converter DAC. Well, that's it. Give us some preliminary information of these mistakes. Based on this error code, we can start to search, search. You'll know more specific. What do we need to do? These are just preliminary observations that can be made. Just guessing, it's shorter, right? With the battery too. There's a problem with the right headlight system right now. So, let's observe. Let's see how many faults this car has. Many engines are also having this problem. A series of dried spark plugs. There's a problem with the number 2 spark plug circuit. Number 4. Including the voltage of the bussy control box as well. PSM power steering control module is the steering assist system. There's a problem with the SCM steering column box. It's a steering column control module. What are the functions of this steering wheel? Change the steering wheel position. That's it, and I'll have to pay attention to the first part, which is the review. This DTC. As for this snapshot data, it's a collection of some data. They took it as some information. That is, provide some information about data. Briefly, so I can have more basis for my analysis. So, we've entered the error reading section. Here, you guys should pay attention to this. This is on the left side of the main interface. And display the box codes. The mistakes. So, here are some more pieces of information. We are checking. Check the box, for example, some of these things. The information is, please elaborate. Let us understand some of the functions in this box. Guys, pay attention to this eraser part here. Then we can press the eraser and delete the mistake. Next, I click on these two circular arrows. We might be reflecting or rereading the error here. Then, I'll click on delete error, which is this eraser. We will click on the eraser to delete that unfixable error. And the software asked if we wanted to fix the error or not. We accumulate here. After deleting, the software can automatically read it, again, to know the current status of the error. Currently, whether we do it or not, we have to carry it out. One operation is to turn off. Turn on the ignition and maybe start the engine. Then, use the functions. What's on the car? The process of using the functions. Well, that's if there are still any mistakes. Then, we will see that that mistake will occur in the process of our use. Still preliminary. Then, after deleting, read it again. Then there usually won't be many mistakes anymore. And there might be some current issues, but they haven't been addressed yet. Use it in the function of that error. Then it won't go up like that. Then, I want to check carefully if I need to do it again. A process to keep the car running. Okay, so I'm introducing this to all of you. First of all, it's the function. Function of reading errors. Read the error, delete the error, and please pay attention to it. That's reading the overall error and erase the mistake with an eraser, and you can read it again. Right here, what else do you have? We can read the error again. Then you guys notice that there will be some things, like this checklist. If you want to quit each function, you can do it. Exit here. And still, I keep going back to the main screen. Next, we will move on to part two. It's the part that, reading about the data, the lifetime of the sensor or the actuator. We click on the data locker. 